There we go. Hi, I'm Sam Keller, and I am producing hectographs for schoolroom use and for home use when you just need a few copies of something or uh, up to a hundred. Before we begin, I want to show you two things. One, you have to wet the hectograph with a sponge lightly, just very dampened. If you put too much water on it, you will do this to the master and ruin it, and your copies will come out like this, which are ruined. So when you wet it, wet it very, very lightly, just slightly damp. The other thing is the type of master unit. If you're making a master for the spirit duplicator, you print it on the front. And it goes through the carbon, the carbon is backwards, and it prints on the back. So the image is backwards. The image is backwards for a spirit duplicator. For a hectograph, it, you print it on the back. And it will come out just like you were making a carbon in the typewriter, legible, like that. And that's how you know the difference between the two. If you made the other kind and wanted to put it on, it would not work. You peel off the master. You take your damp sponge and very lightly go over, just very, very, just slightly damp. Like you're wiping off a table. It just needs a little bit of moisture, that's all. There's no water droplets, there's not a lot, there's nothing on this. You take your mask and you put it face down on your sheet. Uh, right there. And you just rub it gently and slowly so you don't get any pockets. And you just go right down very evenly. Like that. All the way down, and it'll do the finest print. And it just says, No printing there. I'm going to fold this corner. If you have printing to the end, you can put a little piece of paper there. You have to be able to pick this up without digging your fingernail into the gelatin. Okay, you want to leave this a matter of a, a couple of minutes to five minutes, depending on how old the master is and how many copies you're going to make and so forth. This is a fresh uh, master I just made. I use thermal masters because I don't use long run. Now I'm going to peel this off and the image is going to be on the gelatin. And there's the, the master unit unharmed and you can use that again and if you hold this up, you can see the image transferred backwards. Okay, it's ready to use. You take a piece of paper, you put it down on top of the image, slide it down, wipe it off like this. Pull that up. Wipe that off like this, and then just pull it away. and you will get your instant copy. Now that's a nice copy. That was done originally on a uh, a uh, dot matrix printer because I bought it to use uh, long run masters. I don't own a typewriter anymore and I don't write and draw so that's the best way. How many can you make? You can make about uh, 50 to 75 of these just put it on and peel it off. Like that. And I'll, I'll show you one more. You can put it on, lay it down, and leave it sit for a minute. If you leave it sit for a minute, you'll get a darker copy. So as you're using the uh, purple dye up, you may have to leave the copy on a few more seconds to get the same contrast and color that you have been. And when it's uh, faded too much, you stop using it, you wash the gelatin off, and reapply your master and make another 50 to 100 copies. Yeah, we'll pull this off. Okay. I'll see that it's slightly darker than the previous one. And there is your copy. To finish this, 
you would just run this under tepid water, not hot water because you'll melt the gelatin. And you can wipe it with a, uh, uh, just a sponge or just run water on it and you see this will come off. These are blue by the way, they're not purple, these masses. Um, most masses are purple but you can get them in different colors. Uh, this machine right here, this unit is being sold on eBay for I believe somewhere around $20. And uh, the gelatin, it's a closed cover sealed unit. It has a clamp on it. You don't need the clock and timer and stuff. But you can clamp some masses or some blank paper underneath it. In here is a spot for your sponge. And a pencil, a hectograph pencil, which comes in different colors. That you can just write on a piece of paper what you want it to do. And make a print right then and there. Uh, and you can make you know, several prints. A pencil will give you probably uh, 20 prints, 20-25 prints. So you could make, use it to write out daily specials in a restaurant or uh, copies of uh, a note you're taking that you want to pass out instead of using carbon paper or a photocopier. So that's, that's how this is used. And uh, if you do nothing to it, the, the image will sink down to the bottom of the gel and you can use the machine again. That will take several hours. The easiest thing is just to run it gently under tepid water. Not warm water, tepid water. And you'll see the image wash right off. And I thank you very much. It's on eBay, listed under Hectograph. And I do sell supplies. When you buy this, you will get free carbon paper in different colors. You will get a sample uh, printed master and you will get instructions for use. Thank you very much.